So today we're going to be playing NBA 2K24 Mighty and we have 12 hours to go from a brand new account. We can use any players we get from agendas, from free packs and from the player market. And we're going to be trying to complete the sweatiest game mode to get the best reward card. But it's not going to be that easy. We're doing a Nuzlocke, which means every single game we lose, the players get sent to the graveyard, which means we can no longer use that player again. But every five wins, we do get to revive one player. But anyway, we started off obviously by watching the trailer and opening up our starter pack. All right, so the first player we're obviously going to choose is Danny Green. He's the only one of these guys I think can cook the AI, which is what we're probably going to need to do for the first like 45 minutes or so, I'd say. Wemby would be nice because he does mean later on... We didn't get Wemby. If we got Wemby, we could discard him for 2k, but we did get a couple... You know what? Matherin and stuff, these guys are discarding for 1400 which basically means you can swap them for an emerald at any stage. So once we can build up a little bit empty, being able to discard the starter pack is absolutely massive. Because again, most of these guys will discard for an emerald that'll at least be somewhat usable. So before going into online, I'm going to be safe by doing agendas offline because I don't want to use an agenda card, lose the game, can't use them, and then cannot progress through the agendas, which would be very annoying. All right, this is, this is a risky one. We're not going to TT offline. We're going to the 15 point challenge and hopefully I can just hit a bunch of fades with Danny Green. If not, we'll lose Danny Green at PG after one game, which is not going to be easy. And lads, I'm not going to lie. I did not start off too well in this game. Like we had Danny Green. I was shooting fades. I was missing him. And I was legitimately scared we were going to lose a game offline. Thank God. That's a good win. And I'm going to be honest, I was far from ready to win anything on pro difficulty. Any of the challenges where I couldn't just go and score 15 points. So yeah, we did a couple of those. We were focusing mostly on games on semi-pro. I'm not gonna lie, this is the worst player in the game. Craig Hodges, like I'm literally playing on semi-pro difficulty and man cannot hit a shot with take. He is the worst player in the game. We were getting through these challenges okay, just needing a few dunks with Kenny Walker. Lovely, a thousand MT is perfect. That is perfect. And I'm not gonna lie, trying to get Steve Curry's 10 assists was tough. We were in a position where we're struggling to win. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is risky. <sighs> thank God. I don't really want any of these guys, but thank God. I'll take the 1K. I'll take that. And now we're starting to get some good guys. Like Cedric Sabalos is legitimately somebody who you'll see later is more than capable to use online. We got Sabalos. We got Kenneth Fareed. And while we're probably not ready to play online, we can definitely win off every offline challenge. There we go. Nice win right there. So I'm deciding to kind of go for it a little bit. As you can see, I'm buying a few emeralds because I don't want to invest in like expensive players early because if I can rack off 10, 15 wins with emeralds, I'll be happy. As well as that, we are just trying to win some challenges and get a couple of packs. Like a free amethyst does go a long way at this stage. I don't really mind. I don't really mind what I get in this pack, to be honest. Like Brandon Jennings will help me get... Um... It's, I don't... I think that's diamond. Bankero will be so good. I don't want Murray or Hero. I don't want Murray or Hero. Bankero is going to be really good. And then... I can't even remember who the other diamond is. But I do want Bankero. That would be a perfectly good card. Like, I think I could win a 10 straight with Bankero. That's Tyler Hero. Not that bad. Not that bad. All right, I'm going back to Season 1 just to pick up a couple of like low overall guys. I'm going to go and pick up Roko because I do want to see if I can get my first couple of wins without really breaking the bank on anybody. So like Robert Covington can definitely do the job. Where is he? Where's Dunktober? So Robert Covington's coming in. Nice little emerald. I think we can go and win with three of these players. I'm confident of that. So we're going out with this team right here. Honestly, Kenny Walker someone that I'm not the biggest fan of, but three decent defenders, three guys that I think can hold their own in a lot of situations Lynn okay yeah I'm good I'm good and thankfully we are very comfortable in the first game look if I was thinking if I came up against squads like this I'd be good I honestly I think I just need to figure out a way to hit shots with Roko okay there we go so we got the first win and then I realized yeah there's no matchmaking left in TT online we face this team oh no I think I can beat this guy I can beat this guy Got him. Oh no, would you not take the layup? And I'm not gonna lie, like I fought hard in this game. I thought I played well. Even still, we got killed. 
But yeah, the comeback's not happening. The comeback's not happening. That's my first L and the first three players to go into the graveyard. Dyson, you're gone. Roko, you're gone. I don't want to exhaust good cheap emeralds first before we start to like really step up in player quality. So for example, like a Sean Elliott for 1200 is more than usable. I mean, you put him in, I can use 1200 for Andre Roberson. Like, I'd rather not have to use our high players until we're at least halfway through. Like, we can get halfway through without using Emeralds. We're in good shape, like. Problem is, if we we need a win, this tactic relies me winning. I'm winning more than 50% of my games. I want to do a lot more than that. I want Pajemski. I think Pajemski can do a bit of a job here. Jaime Hackwiz Jr. is someone that I will look at as well. But Pajemski, wherever you are. There we go. Pods in the lads lineup will be good. We're going out with a bit of a risky team right here, but I think this team can do the job. Wouldn't use it if I didn't think they had a chance. Okay, I think we I think we're a very, we have a very good chance of winning this game. A team who runs this squad normally is not going to be up to much. There we go. I have not used Pajemski in a long, long time, so hopefully you can hit. So in this game, we use Pajemski. I mean, he, we were either going to win or lose through him. Unfortunately, it was the latter. Oh, Pajemski, you are a garbage man. How did I lose that? Well, we were really struggling right here now at 1 and 2, having to discard a lot of the players we were using. And we were also going through a lot of the emeralds. I think using three emeralds the one time was kind of a bad idea because had I just used one, could have been a bit better. But I decided to try go and get some a higher quality of players. I think using two good players, one emerald, probably a better option using three. I'll take that. A dub's a dub. That took way longer than it should have, but a win's a win. I actually, I don't want a diamond. I really don't want to see diamond here. I really don't want to see diamond. Amethyst good. I'm, I'm happy with any of these amethysts. Ideally, Peyton Watson. Um, You know what? Varajou's good. Varajou is good. I'm not going to lie. He is good. I'm not going to lie. 3k for Larry Nance might do the job. But I want like a a Roko type player would be perfect. But I've already used Roko. Jaime Hackwiz Jr. I think he can do the job. Guys, I don't really like Tyler Hero. I'm going to risk this three right here because I don't really... I haven't even really used Tyler Hero. I don't even know how to shoot with him. So I didn't like his other card earlier in the year. So I'm just going to try him out. And beat Porzingis and Oscar Robertson. Oh, for God's sake. He can do this every possession. I just got to make a read. I can't actually stop that. Oh, come on. I just green to red with Jaime Hackwes. And look, I think I'm playing okay right here, but I'm just out, man. Like, Jaime Hackway's Jr. versus Pink Diamond is not great. He just hit a white. He just hit a white. Not good. Not good. We're already very, very short-handed here. I'm using, I've used up a lot of my good budget options here. I've used an awful lot of them. So that's not a good sign. And we've lost our Tyler Hero as well. That's not good. Thankfully, we do have Steve Kerr, which meant that getting Joel Embiid was a bit time-consuming, but it was easy. And that should be Embiid. That should be Embiid, like... Oh, I think... Do I go out with Embiid, Strader, and somebody else? I might go and do that. I'm going to go out with this lineup here and just hope that we face a bad lineup because I think I can win with this three. I really think I can win. I can go on a three or four game win streak and get back on track. Oh. I can win this game. I can win this. I'm okay. It's fine. Like, he's got that in him. Okay, cool. Can I just play someone that's bad at the game? Green. Come on. Give me that one. Come on, Varajou. Honestly, this game. Great shot, Varajou. Why did I use Ty Why have I lost Tyler Hero? Hero would be perfect to have instead of Fred Jones. Look, at least the Ballas will dunk. It's all right. It's fine. We're good. Tough opponent, but I mean, I wasn't wrong about Cedric Sabalos. Why are my guys switching? Why are my guys switching every for no reason? I'm late. It's me. I've lost. I can't. I've never seen somebody take. He greened every shot. He was terrible, and even he was terrible, but he greened every shot. There's no way I face the God Squad with this lineup. There's just no way. What? So look, we're not in the best spot right here. We're facing a tough opponent. 
and I dig myself a big hole. I'm still in this game. Let's go. I can win this game. I can win this game. And look, this is just going from bad to worse right here, lads. It's getting bad, lads. It's really getting bad. Like, I don't want to use Embiid until I get somebody. I literally just need someone else, any competent player, and J Julian Strader. When I get that three, I'm confident I can bang out eight, nine, ten in a row with Embiid. But, like, that's not going to do me any good. I need to wait till I have 20, 30 wins to go with that lineup. You can shoot. Al Harrington, I guess. Don't really care about Fred Jones. Al Harrington. I, just give me a win. Just give me a win. Give me a win and we're okay. Like, I'm good with one win with these guys. Okay, I think I'll win this. It's a dub. They gave me one. They gave me one. All right, I'll take my L right here then. That's terrible defense as well. Pass on the ball. One of these, just pass one on the ball. Thank you. We might win this. Unlikely, but we might. He's open. Give me that. Come on. Great win, lads. Al Harrington. You know what? Al Harrington's coming out tomorrow. The Amethyst. I'm definitely not going to finish this by the time he comes out. If Al Harrington and Emerald this, the Amethyst could get me some a lot of dubs. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. And yeah, this Draymond Green, while he wasn't great on offense, he cooked me on defense. His team was stacked, and I mean, there's only so much Emerald that Harrington can do in this game. All right. Bad L. Bad L. Oh, you know what? They put in a good fight, though, didn't they? This three? They really did, like, two dubs. And obviously, Fred Jones cannot be used as well. I need one more win until I can use my revive, though. So with a not great record, I went right back offline trying to go and get a couple of agenda cards. We did get Bogdanovich. Who look, it's better than what we have. Is he the greatest card in the world? Not really. But again, he's a lot better than what we have. And we're going for another free Amethyst here. Thank God. I genuinely think I missed 13, 14 threes in a row there. Okay, I don't even know who's the do Amethyst all stink other than Mobamba. It's an Amethyst. It's just, not just give me Mobamba. Let me see center flash up. Let me see center. He's actually good. I'll take that. It means I don't need to risk him bead right here. I'm going to go to the player market. I'm just going to take a guy that oh, I want to risk. I want to risk him. I actually, I want to risk him. I want him enough. Give me 9,750. Give me Julian Strader. Look, I can revive him. If if I lose him, I can revive him. But I want to run him. I want to run him and Embiid separately. Because at least if I win. Oh. I mean, I can revive Hero either way. I can revive once every 10, so... All right, I can beat this team. I can definitely beat this team. Like, I can. there's no reason I can't compete player for player with these guys. And, like, I've got a squad right here. And while we got Embiid and Strader, who are an incredible duo, man, that Desmond Mason is terrible. But thankfully, Strader, Strader. Good Strader, come on. His CPU is just stealing about every single time. Thank you, Julian Strader. Oh, my God. All right, that's five wins, which means we got to revive. I mean, I have to revive Tyler Hero. I have to revive Tyler Hero. Honestly, I just have to revive him. You know what? Give me Franz. Give me Franz. Strader, Franz, and Embiid. That's not a bad three right here. Like, if we can get to, like, 10, 15 wins by the end of the day, I'm happy. All right, Chet, Embiid, and Luca. Oh. I've played so much better than this and lost before. Like, if I played like I am in this game, I would have lost 80% of my other games. Julian Strader, what did he have? Like, 20 in the last game? And he's got 14 already in this game. And honestly, with this team right here, it's a case of, can I get open with Julian Strader seven times in a game? If the answer is yes, I will win every single time. Strader is just Cleaner. cooking my opponents. One word, six letters. We out here taking leaners. Ruby Jonathan Bender, that's another player. That's genuinely a player worth 10k. We're okay. And again, another game, another easy win for Strader. Actually beat him now. I gave him a couple of shots, but I... Jeez, I missed. I threw a few half-court shots, and all of a sudden I can't hit with Strader. That should be game. There we go. Anthony Black, Case and Wallace, and Embiid. Like, his team, that's not a bad team. That's really not a bad team. If he knows what he's doing with those two, 
they're not bad too at all. And for the first time, we actually have a close game to start us off. Dialgo's not going to beat me for game, though. Dialgo's let him back in the game. To a wide open and beat. And we green. That's the win. One more for one more for Hibbert. And I'm actually, if I get Hibbert, I'm going to rest and beads. I'm going to rest this trio. If I can get Hibbert, I'm going to rest this trio. I might actually go with Embiid and buy Suggs instead. Go with Embiid, Suggs, France. And in our most important game, it's also our closest game. My opponent with Anthony Black, really, really good player. Just let me attack downhill. Embiid, you're going you're gonna to lose me this game. Embiid's going to lose me the game. Nope, Embiid's going to win me the game. He got in the way, but he won it for me. That is the toughest win I'm going to have. Because that dude actually could play the game. He's the best player by far I faced. Including all the games I was losing. And, and, let's not forget, I get Roy Hibbert so I can actually rest the team. And obviously from the previous game, the guy I'm going to rest is, uh, or not the guy I'm going to rest, the guy I'm going to revive is, um, what's his name? I'm going to revive Varjo. Roy Hibbert, that's such a big player. 6,000, give me Jalen Suggs for that price. I'm going to go out with a squad like this for a few games because, like, if I can get up to... Like, if I can get to the 20-ish wins, I'm good. Like, I'm 11 and 6. Ooh, I can actually use a better coach than Will Hardy as well. All right, he's already got Tyson Chandler. Oh. Dr. J, KD, I'm worried about this lineup here. I might win this, you know. This is going to be a really tough one, but I might. Man, Mo Bamba's making Tyson Chandler look terrible. That's a terrible release by me. That was a huge win. Oof. I'm just gonna attack Luca, honestly. This was a lot easier than I thought. Like, if he had just ran through the double bigs, that might have been a. I might have lost that game. Ja and Bead and KD. All right, we match up okay to this team. And in this game, we get a little bit of a lead. They miss a shot though. That was huge. That could have made it 19 each, and we do end up getting the dub. Come on. Oh, that is a, again, in a video like this, that card really matters. Isn't the biggest concern for me. I know he's got double bigs, but he's severe lack of guard play. Like we're not really blowing out teams with this lineup, but I mean, they're really struggling to stop us. They really, really are. Thank God. That could have been 21 nil. And that's 15 wins. It means we can revive somebody. And I'm going to revive this. I'm going to revive someone I already have. I'm actually going to look to revive Cedric Sabalas. Because he actually played really well in the game that he played. And I'm going to look to just discard one of my gold. The first gold. Or can I dis I can discard Garland. Unreal. So I'm going to discard the Garland. Give me 22,000. And I'm going to pick up. Like, because I don't want to be scraping the bottom of the barrel any longer. Because I'm confident I can win four out of five games. So I don't need to scrape the bottom of the barrel. Which means that I can... I can save for tomorrow. Or I can put in... Taylor Hendricks or Peyton Watson. I'm going to put in Taylor Hendricks. I have, just have a feeling. I have a feeling he's going to hoop for me. All right. This is a tough lineup. If you're still running D-Rob right now, I know you're I know you're that dude. I was completely wrong. This guy was most definitely not that dude. Good dunk, Mo Bamba. That's another dub. Let's go. Halliburton, Luka, and Embiid. When you see Halliburton, you're either like, he's that dude, or he's terrible. Like, these are three free pink diamonds. Like, if you're running Halliburton, I need to see first possession. You know what? It's not a bad thing to do with Halliburton. Let's go head down straight to the basket. This trio, I don't know how they were so good. Don't know how Bogdanovich was so good on defense, or Mobambo was just so good, but they were winning everything. Oh, another win. Let's go. Okay, Halliburton, Dikembe, and free agent Braun. But I was getting a little bit cocky, and I'm not going to lie. This was a bit of a close game against a team that, well, I should not have been close with. Like I'm, I might lose the win streak to free agent Braun. And if I do, fair enough. My opponent's actually playing well right here. Game. This lineup's hell. This lineup is hell. And in this game, we started off back and forth, neck and neck. But my opponent was very strong. Oh, and we ran away from Chad Holmgren. Have to, have to give it up. I had to give it up. That's just... Game. I'm going to go with the I don't care if I lose lineup. Because I don't care if I lose these three guys. Honestly, I really don't care. 
I thought I would be fine with this team losing a game. I thought it was going to be a couple of wins in a row. Trust me, these guys cooked. Middleton, Sabalos, God tier on defense. We face a God squad. It doesn't matter. We're going to go and destroy them. Next game up, we're facing another elite team. When you've got Anderson Varejo able to play point center. When you've got Sabalos dunking on everybody going to the basket. When you got Middleton never really able to miss. It's going to be hard to lose games. As we go right here and get another dunk with Sabalos for the win. Every big shot Middleton hit and point center Varejo cooked. That should be enough to just get our next player. Like there's no point saving up for it. Nope, we're 100 off. So let's just discard some badges that we got from all these packs. Oh, actually, this could be someone. Why haven't I not opened this yet? This actually could be something. Let's go and get something out of this. That's Amethyst. None of these are any good. That's Fred Van. No, nope, Reggie Jackson. It was either Fred Van Vliet or Reggie Jackson. Uh, if I start to go on a losing streak, he mightn't be that bad, I guess. And come into the team, Isaac Okoro. Do I sit these three, though? Because this lineup has been killing it. There's, I don't think there's a point sitting them, to be honest. And maybe you guys are thinking, oh, that little bit of a break meant that I'd stop winning games. Nah. Nah. Cedric Sabalos hits Varishev 73 three-pointer. It doesn't matter. Next game, we're quite close. Middleton's going to be the guy to step up and hit the big shot. The game after that, it's going to be a Middleton dunk. One later, it's going to be Sabalos playing the point guard position, going and getting a dunk. And we are just destroying teams. Yeah, sometimes teams are running as close like this guy here. And to be fair, this game was very close because my opponent had a chance to win and he missed. And we get a fluke rebound. This team was even getting lucky in the games where they were meant to have lost. Another close game here and my opponent misses again for game. The luck this team has is crazy. We even take the two instead of the three and eventually win the game right there. And I over risk. I decide maybe I want to save these guys. I pick up Kobe and don't even use Kobe straight away. I'm going to buy Kobe. And uh, let's buy Badia back into the team. Honestly, I don't care if I lose any of these three. Dez and Mason, Badia, Kenneth Reed. If I lose them, I don't care. Like, I'm going to bed after I lose one game, so... I'm not winning more than four in a row with these guys. That's just not happening. I, this was just a really dumb idea because my opponent was terrible. And I could have been in and out of this game in, like, three or four minutes. However, I decided to basically give my opponent a chance to win the game like they went up 21 20 yeah he had pink diamond kyle corver but he was he was not great i'm not gonna lie the guy was not great thankfully badia goes and hits the wide open three for the win and then immediately i go right back to the team that was winning a bunch of games we face a elite team right here and i mean we keep going to what we were going to those varigel point center fades in this game mode are so hard to guard like, we're starting to win some games. We faced the same guy again who we beat comfortably earlier on. This time, it was like he was a different player. He locked down Varajau and we couldn't get it up. Okay, I logged back in. It says 0-0, zero and zero, but thankfully, you can see here, uh, 70 and more wins. So, it still says I'm on 33. Kobe, Badia, Hibbert's actually not a bad three. As Once I don't like Badia, look, he's not a bad third option. Okay, this isn't a bad team. Oh, no. I'm taking my L. And the reason why I'm taking my L, I'm not counting this as a loss. I got reset to my triggers are going crazy. I'm on push instead of set point. Uh, yeah, no. No, no. I'm not taking that as an L. First game is an easy enough matchup, I guess. Man, Hibbert is cooking. <laughs> Hibbert's absolutely cooking here. Now, this isn't going to be easy. There we go. Big screens from Roy Hibbert. That's what he does. He sets big ass screens. It's a tough shot if he hits it. I don't know why you went for that. There we go. Go win. Okay, I'm gonna have to revive Chris Middleton. I haven't lost that many good players, so... For my 35 win, let's revive Middleton. Oh, no. This team's equally as hell as the team I lost to yesterday. Oh, my God. Why is he sticking to me like glue? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Roy Hibbert. That game was hell. All right, this one's not going to be easy. And I mean, we are not doing well. I'm missing wide open shots. And that's the big thing. Like, if I'm going to miss every single open shot, I'm not really going to win games. And while we dug a huge hole, we came back. My opponent wasn't great. The misses early cost me a lot. Like, there's nothing more I can do. 
Like, there's nothing more I can do in that game. That's fine. That's fine. Like, when you outplay your opponent as much as I outplay my opponent right there, you're going to win 99% of the time. I'm cool with that being just the one I lose. Look, I still have tons of MT as well. So, we have 20k, so I can buy another Amethyst. I'm not going to do it yet, though. I'm going to go with, like, see how much I can go Middleton, Okoro, or Mobamba. This is not a bad team. Look, it's a good de It's a really good defensive team. And our first game with this team is super close. Like 18 all, and they had the ball. Thankfully, they missed, and we hit Mo Bamba wide open. Game. Come on, that's a big one. Nice clutch win there. Oh, thank God. Thank God. A little bit less of a sweat fest. A nice and easy game right here, and very comfortable win. Give me that dub. Let's go. That is um, 70 more wins. That's five. So I need 12 more wins. Not too bad. And honestly, this lineup's doing fine. I'm very confident if I can get to like 42, 43, I can see this out. I'm not joking. His players feel like they have superpowers. He's just not good. It's going to be really... Oh, Giannis. Giannis literally plays the game for you. And yeah, this guy, this guy was pretty good, but it was more so a case in this game of me just playing horrifically badly. There we go. That's an L. It is what it is. You know what? I'm probably going to spend a little bit on a nice big. I'm going to go and buy a Marcin Gortat. Shoot around with him a few times just to get used to him. But I think he could be he could be good for me. And I'm not going to lie. I was very surprised at how well Marcin Gortat was shooting. I thought that release was going to be terrible. But like, if there's going to be a stretch big to take me all the way, it might be him. Going Suggs, Franz, and Gortat. I think it's a really good team. I think we if we can get four or five wins with these guys... Like, we need, we need 17, so we need 11 more wins. Like, if we can get four wins, even three wins, it at least means we can go and beat Strada and Hendricks. And I'm confident we're eight in a row with them guys. Oh, for God's sake. And even though my opponent's team is definitely better than mine, there's no excuse for me to be playing as badly as I have. I've been terrible these last two games. Wow. That's the worst loss we've had because my team was actually decent. I'm going to have to bring them out. I'm going to have to bring out the best three. If I lose, I'm screwed. Like, if I lose, I'm going to have to figure out some way of using, like, sapphires and rubies. Again, I'm back to, like, the start. And our first game right here with the, well, the team that I thought was going to take me home, win 11 straight. We face a terrible team, and we almost lose because I was on the phone for the entire game and not even watching it. Next game right here, we face a really nice team. And honestly, we dig ourselves a little bit of a hole. Go 16 10 down, but pulling it back to 16 15, I thought maybe I had a chance to win. We did okay, but oh, I just I just lost it. And losing with this team made things tough because obviously I had to revive a Koro in a 40, which wasn't an ideal thing. I wish I had lost earlier with like a Strada or an Embiid that I could have revived them, and we just started losing. We started losing, and now suddenly the players I'm using are PJ Tucker, are like Caleb Houston's pretty good, I guess. But like the level of player we have has gotten so much lower because of how many players are in the graveyard waiting to be revived. But like we get the dub right there. But we need 45 wins just to get Julian Strader and beat. I'm confident if I can get the 45 with these guys because Caleb Houston's nice, we're going to be fine. And with a 12 to 8 lead here, I thought we were good. But unfortunately, I get a wide open shot with badge for the win. And I miss it. I miss it, lads. I freaking missed. They go down and score. And all of a sudden, the players that I'm looking to use, like Raja Bell, Jordan Walsh, are just so much worse. And with no matchmaking, I'm facing pink diamonds with emeralds again. Not only that, is I can't even use the good emeralds because I lost all of them earlier on in the video. So, Jeremy Lin obviously came out free. Going to try to Evo him up. Going to try to get um, a couple of the all-star cards as well. But, lads, we lost Dinwiddie. Any potential all-star upgrades and a potential pink diamond Jeremy Lin in an offline game. I just lost him in an, on, in an offline game. Oh my God. I don't think today his session could go, could get any worse. Especially if we won like six of our first seven. We won five of our last, a lot more than 10. Our last chance we pick up like Roy, Hachimura and Pettit. Roy, Rui and Bob Pettit. No! You know what? Jeremy Lin stinks. Maybe we have a chance. And yeah, after that loss, there is like 
just over an hour and a bit to go, which is not great. I'm done. It's over. I failed. Oh my god, I failed. I fa This challenge is so, so difficult though. It is one of the hardest My Team challenges that you can possibly do. And we were like, we were six and one today, I think. So we were six and one today with like 15 good players left. And we lost eight out of 10 games. Like I have another hour to go, but I I can't win nine. Well, another hour and twenty minutes to go. But I don't can't win nine games in an hour and twenty minutes, especially when my squad currently is gonna look like let's discard these guys. I guess like I will have twelve k to build a team, thirteen k, which is three sapphires, and I've used all the good sapphires. So literally, tis the season. Um, Doug Collins, better than most sapphires. Uh. Ubre and Sohan. It's the best team I can put together right now. It's the best team I can put together. And I'm gonna lose. And then whatever team I come up with, I'm gonna lose again. I don't have the like the banker of what I had. Like I literally had the uh I always was holding on to a beat. I was holding on to guys. I was like, you know what, I'm gonna use these the right time. We won 29 of 30 games. We won 35 of 37 and then lost eight of 10 immediately afterwards. 